Hey guys, my name is Gambit. Thank you for checking out my video. In this video, we're going to go over a game called The Ant Underground Kingdom. This is not a beginner's guide or tutorial. There's a lot of content out there, so if you're looking for something like that, check those out and then come back here because this will be of good use. If you do want me to make videos like that, just leave it in the comment section. So, let's get to it. What we're going to talk about is an event called Warzone. Warzone is when two different state slash servers are battling each other in different types of challenges. They're not actually attacking each other. With that said, let's quickly review what a state slash server is. If I click this map down here, you'll notice that there's a border and a brighter screen than the rest. Uh, this is my state 48. More commonly in the game, it's known as server. So from now on, I will be referring it to you as server. If you look on the border of your server, you'll see 47, 25, and the one that we're currently versing, 49. There is another one down here, 79, but 49 is our competitor. So let's go back and take a look at what we are competing in. So you'll click this golden beetle called events. You'll notice that under the heading events, there are two tabs in progress, start soon. There's currently four events in progress. We're only going to be concentrating on strongest war zone, but let's take a quick look at start soon. Start soon is war of Kings. Now in this one, you will be able to teleport to another server. They will be able to teleport to yours, and in this one, you will be fighting. Uh, you will have a chance to attack at another uh, server's player. I'll get into this down the road as it starts in four days and a little less than four hours. I'll make videos about that as well, giving you tips and tricks on uh, what you can do to help your server out. So back to in progress, click in strongest war zone. If you notice this little red dot, the other ones don't have it. It means I've achieved something. So let's get into war zone. Under overall, you'll see that there are a little bit of a brief description in, in strongest war zone, two war zones compete in seven days. The winning one could gain tremendous rewards. Server 48 versus server 49. We currently have 2.3. Uh, we'll just say million versus 2.6 million. The game under event today will have a MVP of your personal server who is currently leading everyone else. Talaris is currently our server's leader in this event. If I click this glowing green I, which uh, probably stands for information, it will give you a little bit more of a description of what each of the seven days of the war zone entails. Each, each um, event is 24 hours long. So currently we are under the gather resource worth one point. Each one is worth one point. Day two is in upgrade building. Now you want to stick around until the end of this video because I have a really good tip for you for that. How to get an advantage and an edge over your competitors. Research evolution, strength, strengthen special ants, and hatch soldier ants. Day six and seven, you will actually choose one of these options. And I'll get into details about these down the road when that comes. But for now, let's concentrate back on how you can take a better lead as your server on gathering resources. One of the best tips I can tell you is that if there's five minutes left in your current event, which is gather resource, and it takes your troops 10 minutes to march back to the ant colony, what you really want to do is get them before it hits the 11 mark or 12 minute mark 
before the end of the event. So you give yourself enough time to get those troops back after gathering so that the points count. They only count if you get to your ant colony before the time is over. Those points at, are reflect in several different manners. One, as a total for the server. Two, for your alliance. And three, for your personal self. We'll get into those in a minute. If you notice that if your server currently wins each of the events, so seven days, seven events, everyone in your server will gain these rewards. So I gave you already one good tip on how to make sure that the efforts that you put in count. Well, let me give you another tip. Server 48, in my opinion, it's the only server I have ever been on. We are new to this, and this is the point of the video. We came together collectively, as it's new to our server, on how to beat our opponent. There are a couple people who have multiple accounts who were nice enough to share some information. But it is a big learning curve for the most of us. So we have come together as a unified server to agree that we will not attack each other and only concentrate on gathering resources. Now I can't say everyone agreed to that, but the couple of alliances that haven't or those that are just don't care about the event, it does take a toll on being able to achieve a total, um, a, a guaranteed victory. So let's take a look at the event today. Currently, there is just under four hours left. My total contributions are 1.48 million. I'm ranking in the top 1,200. I have, if you notice these little green dots, a reward that I can claim. I have achieved. So when I click it on this reward, you will see I can claim 100 diamonds, 75,000 honeydew, uh, one hour evolution upgrade and a five minute evolution uh, upgrade, but times 10. So really it's 50 minutes. So we're going to claim those items gained. And you will see that I'm pretty close to getting the second one. Well, I have currently a, a current uh, unit that is out gathering resources. So 37 minutes from now, he will come back and I should gain about another... Uh, I would say about 700,000 points from that. So I will be able to achieve the second reward. And the second reward is more diamonds. Creature remains. And this one is huge. Remember creature remains because I'm going to get to that in a minute. So you really want to achieve this one because it will help you throughout these seven day events. Of course, there's another one at the very end, which provides more creature remains, uh, golden eggs, spores, a lot of great stuff. And these are my personal rewards. What about as a total alliance? Well, if everyone in your group is putting in effort, you can achieve a normal raspberry, meet all types of resources as well more 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 resources are provided depending on how well your alliance does i'm sorry if you heard google just now it's it has a mind of its own no one was even talking to it um so again perform any operation below to gain event points so these are actually a breakdown of what item resources if you are to gather what kind of points they give you um, this is the only one that you don't gather. It's by diamond and you'll get 200 points, but you can gather sand for four points, wet soil for three points, diamond, 4,000 plant and meat. Now, again, this is not a beginner's tutorial. So I am under the assumption that you guys are aware that gathering diamonds takes longer than any other one. One of the tips that you can do is upgrade your researching and gathering speeds for the other ones 
and at least you will have an opportunity to gather faster to get an edge over your opponent. Another really good tip is using your 24 hour gathering bonus. It does not work for diamonds. So again, you, as a, as a collective unit, we have agreed to collect everything except diamonds because it, it just takes too long to gather it. Personal rewards. You can come here and check out stuff, depending on how well you do. You can check out all rewards. And then we have results. Result is a breakdown of each day's event and how it ended. So currently we are on day one. The reason I'm making this video once again is to give anybody else who's new to the game or a new server that's going through this for the first time the ability to view some of our errors and things that you can learn from us as well as as well as some tips and tricks to get you ahead so since this is only day one and i will be making a video of each day so that you don't get one video that's seven hours long you get seven videos that are about 10 minutes each you can fast forward it whatnot let's talk about one more thing that you will get during these zone events if i go into my anthill and i go into my evolution fungi i click it click evolve you will notice down at the bottom there are two new ones called zone develop and zone fight when i click zone fight and i click dodge attack you notice that i've upgraded it four times out of the 10 times available one of the reasons i'm having trouble upgrading it any further is because of creature remains do you remember when i said that they are really important you might have been getting them this whole time and not knowing what they're for well now you know creature remains are one of the resources that are required to upgrade zone evolutions. So, for example, zone gather, I've upgraded once, and I didn't realize this at the time. Had I known, I would have upgraded zone gather and zone resources instead of zone fight. Um, but it is what it is. Now I know, and had someone made a video where I could have reviewed, I might have been able to concentrate my focus on what I need to do to help my zone win better. Finally, there is a really good tip for everyone. Do you remember that there is a, a second event called Upgrade Building? Well, Upgrade Building will start in about three hours and 40 minutes, three hours and 39 minutes to be more exact. With that said, it is highly recommended that whatever upgrades on big buildings that you have, such as your queen's nest, you start it when it will evolve and finish its evolution right, right at the start of when the up day two event starts this way when your queen's nest is done you already have a huge amount of points in your pocket your zone altogether if they can be unified in this will have a huge opportunity to be ahead of your competitor this is one of the best strategies that you can implement from a day-to-day -day zone war with that said, again, my name is Gambit. I really do appreciate you. If I missed anything or you're still having some questions, leave it in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer. If I don't know it, I'll get you that information. Thank you for your time. Have fun.